Hello everybody, welcome back. So uh, I just finished up a class, morning class, and it's out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it's a really beautiful park, like on the way to the class, but it's, it takes forever to get here from my place, probably about an hour or so, plus another 15 or so minute walk from the station to the actual location. <clears throat> but um, yeah, this park is really, really, really beautiful. And uh, especially when the cherry blossoms came in the springtime, this park, the whole place was just pink and beautiful. And I haven't really seen anything like it before uh, in Japan. But uh, it's very naturey and very different from the city, from where I've, you know, in the area I've been living. So I really like it out here, even though I have to travel really far to go. Um, but anyways, uh, the other day, not the other day, last week when I came out here, I saw a giant, and I mean giant hornet, and uh, it's actually called a Japanese giant hornet, and they grow to be like that long and like thicker than my thumb, and uh, they're like really aggressive and really scary looking, and uh, I actually, sorry, I'm trying to get a good comfortable position here. I actually looked up like about when I when I saw it I was walking and I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye and then like did a double take like holy shit that is a scary looking like wasp I've never seen one that big before and uh I thought about getting closer to it taking a picture maybe doing that stuff but I I'd heard of giant hornets before but I wasn't really sure what their temperament is like like if it was a hornet or a bee you could probably get away with like getting a little closer as long as you didn't mess with it too much but I wasn't really sure how territorial they are so I just kind of stayed away <laughs> I kind of wish I I'm glad that I did it because after I looked it up apparently they're really aggressive and territorial and their stings hurt like a lot like enough to send you to the hospital uh, even if you're not allergic but uh, I looked it up and those bees kill like they're not bees but those hornets kill like 30 to 40 people a year in Japan and apparently they have a kind of a pheromone inside their venom that attracts other connects uh, attracts other wasps and uh, makes them all like come and sting you but uh geez, I'm out of breath I'm sorry <laughs> I need to exercise um, so yeah it, it'll like it'll like sting you and it'll hurt like hell and then these all these other wasps will like come if they're around and they'll sting you too even if you're like not near their nest or whatever so it's really intense um i actually watched some other youtube video where like this like group of 30 of those those wasps attacks like a nest of honeybees and it's like 30,000 in the hive 30,000 honeybees and i think at the end of like their epic fight or whatever only one of the uh, of the wasps had actually died, and then all of the honeybees were dead. So it's really intense, and uh, their armor is like too thick or something to actually for honeybees to like actually penetrate the armor to like kill them. So what they do is they like swarm the. Uh, I thought I saw one. Just, uh, they swarm the um, the wasp or whatever and they like vibrate their bodies and kind of like coat it and then it produces like crazy hot heat and like kills the wasp like cooks it that's the only way they can fight back so that's pretty cool but uh yeah i saw one of those things i had never seen them before and i thought it was pretty cool um but yeah this this park is really beautiful as i've said a hundred times but uh it's really a place where you can see the seasons change as you come like in the springtime it's completely pink and really beautiful and pe like petals falling and I guess now it's it's about to get into summer here soon so it's become very green hot and like you know there's lots of tall grass and weeds and stuff going on and uh, I haven't actually been here in the summertime yet but I've been here in the winter and in the fall and in the fall it was uh it was really crazy there's all these spiders like there's this uh poisonous spider 
in Japan that like it's it's kind of similar to a black widow but it doesn't really hide in dark places it just chills like out in the open like it'll be just like chilling in like some bushes right here but really easy to see and really obviously very poisonous so it's uh it's not even a big deal to avoid like they're just really cool looking um saw a pretty big wasp just now it wasn't one of the hornets or i would have tried to show you um but yeah anyways i'm almost to my station so i should probably cut this off but yeah, i will see you guys next time have a good one